Step into Jay Caldwell's Kirkland home and it hits you like a bat hits a ball. Uh, bordering on hoarder status. <laughs> He's got a passion for baseball. This guy loves the sport. He's a collector, <laughs> and since the 90s... Jackie Robinson down here. A lot of his collection has been focused around artifacts from a time when baseball was segregated. And the more I learned, the more I realized they were really early civil rights pioneers. He's talking about the Negro Leagues, the only place where African Americans could play professionally. These segregated teams were actually a showcase of the players' great talents, and ultimately made the case for integrating baseball. And it began that process of saying, you know what, we all enjoy the same game. You guys are good. We didn't realize that. You know, maybe it is unfair that we don't allow you to play with, you know, Walter Johnson and Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth. This is a ball from 1871. Caldwell is a legend of sorts in the world of baseball history, so much so that in 2020, 100 of his artifacts will be featured at the Negro Baseball Museum in Kansas City for the league centennial celebration. They went through some terrible times, terrible hardships that they didn't deserve but they persevered and emerged as winners. And he's also on the team that's bringing some of those players to a new audience. The first one of the Centennial Team Series is Satchel Page. A series of 32 bobbleheads of the Negro League's most notable players will be released throughout 2019. Not only do they include stats of the players, but descriptions of their role in the civil rights movement. My hope is that we really educate the, the public on the Negro Leagues and the history of their triumph over tragedy, because that's really what the Negro Leagues are all about. Money raised through the sale of the bobbleheads will go towards the museum's centennial celebration. But the main goal of this project is to make sure these players' stories live on for years to come. Let people understand some of the stories they had to tell about life on the road and how uh, they overcome all those obstacles. In Kirkland, Vanessa Mishania, King 5 News.